Kia screws customers with some intentional delays. There's no big secret that Kia's always been a little slow, allegedly, to the punch when it comes to delivering customers what they need. For example, a lot of the cars that they've had in recent years that have gone up like a tinderbox as a result of engine fires, where customers are left high and dry for months and even beyond waiting for a new engine to be configured into their car, where the engine that they had met with a serious detriment. Now, the reality is Kia's been under scrutiny for many years for various ups and downs, and allegedly there is a new one related to delays that they're intentionally adding to customers' wait times. Yes, that's right. If you've been waiting for your brand new Kia to come in off the truck or off the boat from over in Asia, then you've probably been waiting for a while. We know that shortages have been significant in the last number of months and even the last couple of years. It's been very frustrating for consumers just to get their cars. And Kia is one of those vehicle manufacturers that has been especially hard to come by. Customers have been waiting for a long time for popular models like the EV6, the Pure EV. And unfortunately, Kia has now intentionally, allegedly, created some additional delays for customers that have been waiting for months. But not only does it impact the customer that's been waiting for six months, eight months, or even a year to get their new EV or their new hybrid car or their new ICE vehicle or any of those vehicles that are coming from the manufacturer, it's bad enough that they've been waiting. The reality is without those vehicles getting from the port to the dealer level, people working at these dealerships are also relying on these vehicles. We have people that detail the vehicles. We have people that ship them prep them. We have salespeople relying on getting paid for these vehicles. We have to keep the lights on at all these different individual dealership levels, but a lot of these vehicles are intentionally held back. Yes, would you believe it? Withheld, allegedly, at a storage yard somewhere, specifically in Ontario we're talking, because a regional manager has actually decided that they need to withhold some of the models from making it to the customers at least until the new year so that they can present what looks to be a slightly reduced amount of sales and it's an opportunity to gain more marketing dollars from the manufacturer. Now you ask, how did this information come out? Well, the reality is it was an insider, a whistleblower, who happened to capture this conversation in person, exposing the simple fact that opportunities to gain more marketing bucks usually only come from values showing that we're actually selling less cars. Clearly the sales are there. We need the cars. There's cars and the SUVs are selling. Customers want them, but yet the manufacturer or the local regional managers are in some cases holding these back just to gain some of that access. Now it's bad enough. This insider also commented that it was very frustrating working for the organization because in the last few years with things like rail blockages, supply chain challenges, of course, with the chips and so on, the customers have literally been very, very frustrated in the last few years. So it's a sad state of affairs that we're actually having manufacturers starting to play some of these games with customers just for the sake of the dollar. Now it wouldn't be the first time that car sales was somehow affiliated with greasy tactics. Yes, in fact, this goes on and on, and they always find new ways to manage to pull more dollars out of your pocket and as well to keep themselves not just employed and moving along, but to maximize their value to the organization as well as to the local dealerships. That's all well and good. It's a business. They're there to make money. But it should never be at the expense of the customer, and it should never be at the expense of somebody's reputation. Now again, further to that, allegedly, this regional manager has passed a note down to all the local dealerships to actually communicate to their customers who have been actually waiting long time for their vehicles that there have been some supply chain challenges, some hangups in that supply chain, which <laughs> coincidentally isn't that far from the truth because supply chain is the link from A to B. And if they intentionally stall it at somewhere between A and B, I, I suppose in theory they're probably not fibbing about that, but that unfortunately is, again, as I say, a sad reality for a lot of customers waiting for their, for their brand new Kias. It makes me wonder about how many other manufacturers are playing games. We also know that there were other brands that were doing similar tactics, specifically even controlling the production velocity. We know GM was doing that for a while, allegedly, was slowing down production to ultimately reduce the supply and continually drive the demand up, making people more agitated, more 
urgent and wanting to actually spend the harder dollars and be willing to spend in a lot of cases well over MSRP which we know a lot of people have been doing in the last couple of years. So a lot of these tactics have been going on for the last few years and a lot of these manufacturers have been just getting very creative on controlling the velocity. We also know that a lot of manufacturers were making that conscious decision to not just pro manage production but also from a perception an optics perspective having less cars on the car lot was something that a lot of these dealers were dealing with way back two years ago a year and a half ago because having less vehicles on the car lot gave customers this sense of urgency this perception of get it while it's hot and it's not there hey there's one left you better get it because there's four people behind you waiting for it. That is literally how some of these manufacturers have been playing the game. Remember, with the true shortages that we saw two years ago, the evolution of that became, okay, we finally start to catch up, but then they had to create ways to maximize the profit margin because they didn't have the volume to sell, so now they're having to make a bigger margin on each unit. Well, they realized if we sell less units, it keeps demand up really high, supplies somewhat controlled, we can get more money out of it and sell less vehicles. Well, a lot of this transitions and a lot of this translates right to what a lot of these dealers are doing. And again, as I say, allegedly, key is withholding. So I hope everyone appreciates this video. As always, if you find some value, just a heads up. Ask that question. Don't be scared to ask your salespeople. Dig in a little bit. Do your research. Oh, and by the way, this was primarily in Ontario, Canada is where this word has happened. So if you're from the U.S. or other markets, you probably haven't necessarily seen this. Although, just word to the wise, it's not out of the question. So as well, I hope everybody enjoyed it. Be sure to check out that video right there. What's going on with Ford's trucks? Are they going away? People not buying them? What's the future like? Hope to see each and every one of you on the next one. We'll see you real soon. Bye-bye.